Hi Q episode 24, removing the solitary king. What does that mean? This might be the last episode in this game. I think we're tied up at 24 apiece. Waiting for the day that Karsuno has their own squad. Cheering squad. Yeah, I really saved that. They were hanging by a thread. Ooh, and a timely flashback. Come to think of it, it's been interesting seeing comments on older episodes on YouTube about Kageyama. My take on his past is that obviously he made mistakes, but it really wasn't a huge deal to me. And some of that is me having watched more episodes and just seeing that he's changed dramatically. So it's sort of like, whatever at this point, you got to allow people to grow and change, etc. But Oikawa, at least to Kageyama, was not a whole lot better. I wonder if there's any connection, if there's any legacy handed down from Oikawa to Kageyama. Doing what we do best. Oh no! Do it again, do it again, do it again. Damn! Tanaka clone. Doing great. Chance ball! Oh, I want him to get this point so badly. But now might be a great chance for a fake. Oh no. That might work, it might work, it might work. Happy accident. Yes! Are we up by one? Or is it match point? That recovery though. Oof. Could it be? Do I dare believe? Yes. Yes. One, just one, no. Oh, that hurts. So nerve wracking. Oh God. Of course. Watch this come down to a head, head to head between him and Kageyama. I mean, he wants it too. Sorry, I can't love you yet. I don't care. Damn, that one is more epic than usual. Good old faith. What? Oh, it was out. Nice play. That awareness, though. Oh, oh. I don't know if I, I want that for Oikawa, though. That's not how I want him to lose. Oh, God. But I still want him to lose. Please. Oh my god, I can't take it. This roller coaster. My nerves. I'm panicking a little bit. It does feel like whoever wins this wins it all. Although, I mean, who knows? We're entering into a point montage. Back and forth montage. Can't imagine the emotional swings. Damn, 31-31. <laughs> Still wondering if there's a limit. And they're both exhausted. And he's back. And I don't have any key realizations now. Have them after you lose. He's back. He's back. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this flashback power. He's about to receive. He's not missing this one. We don't even get a oh this time. Just in his own world. Get up there. Who's it gonna be? Oh no, coming back to bite Kagayama. Only Kai was not the only one with history. <laughs> All these flashbacks. <laughs> Like how was a lot nicer to him. The only person he mistreated was Kagama. Oh no. Faint. They should have- oh, They had the power of flashbacks at their side. That's a bitter pill that you can swallow later after you win. Stop growing emotionally. Snap him out of it, Hinata. There you go, there you go. I've been counting, and I'm pretty sure Daichi only has one one error this game. Ending the Lonely King. 
Yeah, going back to Kagama again, I feel like there's a part of his growth that has to do with him being able to lean on others and recognize and respect their abilities, see them as teammates. But there's another part of it is that he needed people to match his energy. And I think that's what's so perfect about his pairing with Hinata. I think one of the reasons why I was not hard on Kagama was because it felt to me that a lot of the negatives that we saw from Kagama were the flip side of something great that required some reflection, but also just the right environment. Nice save, Daichi, again. Man, this is just insane. Turn up head? You better not. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm dying over here. Well, I knew it was going to be epic. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. They can't stop it. Oh, they stopped it. Wait, 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 wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Someone, anyone. Nishinoya. Daichi. Nishinoya's not there. Asahi. Oh, 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 No, no, it hurts. No, I can't. I can't take it. Taichi, no. Strong till the end. This hurts w way more than I thought it would. This hurts so bad. I know it's great, but it hurts. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> he uses gifts against them. He, he uses growth against them. Points of recognizing his gifts. Hopefully they get some female fans out of this. That's the only thing that will make this pain go away. Only thing that makes life worth living anymore. <laughs> yeah. This is tough. I wanted it for the seniors. Yeah, it doesn't do anything to make it feel better. It was a great match. I mean, they're all amazing. It's all of it at once. It's it's great and it's terrible. One of the biggest positives I can think of from this loss, thematically speaking, is that there's this question of genius and the threat of Kageyama's raw talent and ability and the fact that he'll be unstoppable one day. In that sense, it's a huge victory for Oikawa. In a way that feels good, or would feel good if I wasn't so attached to this team, that the fact that even his coach called him a genius, and that he seems to recognize that he doesn't have the, the same abilities as Kagama didn't stop him from crushing it and winning. And then just from a writing perspective, I would not have complained at all about a victory. I would have loved it. And I think it would have been well earned. I, like, it wouldn't feel like a contrived plot just to have the main character team win, just because of what we've seen them do and how we've seen them grow and their abilities. But at the same time, there would have been something a little bit like, yeah, right, about them winning. Assuming they had gone on to win the championship. They did a great job showcasing both teams, and they did a great job making it convincing that Seijo would pull through in the end. And they definitely did a great job with creating emotional stakes and causing me to have a depth of, of pain. And I'm not even worried about the team as a whole, because this is just their first adventure as a unit. What makes me sad is mainly that I'm a huge fan of the seniors. And it's kind of a sad story for Daichi, who's one of my favorite characters. I don't really know how to process this. Seijo was a little time ago. They better win. Now, I mean, now we're rooting for them, right? Now we gotta root for, for them. The winning team is carrying the, the loser's legacy with them. They're playing for the losers. Still not over it, huh? Are you okay? <laughs> Are you alright? Nothing will ever be okay again. Until next season. You didn't make a mistake. This is his pen of frustration too because he feels bad himself. He had the last touch. I mean, it was amazing. Like I said last episode, they, they reached moments of absolute human perfection. Oh, 
That was perfect. Yeah, for them, this is just a point on their long journey. And they're unbelievably amazing. <laughs> they're racist. <laughs> I want to see what happens. I want to see the rest of the tournament. Or I just want to follow Alba Josai. See how they do. I want them to win. I'm ready to like Oikawa now, now that he's not <laughs> an obstacle. Now that the match has been decided. I keep coming back to Daichi. Not sure why. I'm not sure why that it, he impacted me so much. But speaking of getting up, he's got to be hurting in a special way. But he was the one that let his team off the court. Just total class and strength till the end. Maybe he can play in college. That makes me feel better immediately, just having that thought. As long as he can keep playing volleyball. And in credits. <laughs> Hope you like convenience store food. Oh, he's springing for an izakaya. Hell yeah, they deserve it. <laughs> and this is going to be one of the best meals they ever tasted. They were alive. It's a good metaphor. Hinata and Kagama seem the most distraught. Everyone else is taking it like a champ. Yeah, how proud must they be? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Only Suki has dry eyes. <laughs> how fitting. Mm, it's beautiful but heartbreaking. That was such a perfect way to end it. In fact, I, after seeing that, I can't imagine a better outcome. A win would have been great. You know, I would have really loved to see them win. <laughs> I would have been so happy, but it's really clear that the show is not really about volleyball. Volleyball is just kind of the tool for which we see the characters grow into something like heroes, even though it's not a hero show. And this does seem like the result that leads to maximum growth and strength. At some point in the season, I was talking about how sports is a really great way to explore safely important concepts about the truth of life, where there are just certain things that there's chaos. You can't perfectly control outcome. You will lose, you will get destroyed. But like the teacher was saying, there's a measure of strength and how well they meet that. And I think there's something really powerful about grappling with the truth of life in that way. This is an extreme comparison, but it's like that idea you often hear that one of the best methods of meditating is to focus on death. The more you can look at and experience things that are extremely troubling and learn to stomach it, the more resilient and unbeatable you become. And unbeatable in a way that is beyond the, you know, the immediate outcome and circumstances. They lost the game but I think the point that the teacher was trying to get was that they're not beaten. In fact, they're probably better off than they ever were. That doesn't make it not hurt. I mean, it's extremely painful. I think most growth of that nature is painful because it's something dying, you know, it's like illusions dying. But there's such a huge difference between what I think is a common response of trying to bury deeper into it. You know, they could have stood around blaming each other or making excuses, griping about it, or they could just bite down, grit their teeth, cry it out a little bit as bros, <laughs> enjoy their food and get back to it as soon as possible. I'm not gonna say I'm not in pain. I feel like I experienced their loss with them, but somehow with that masterful last scene, it ends up being inspiring at the same time in a way that matters much more to me at least. And now all I'm hoping for is that Daichi gets a college arc because <laughs> man, would it feel good for him to have a victory. I want them to win and win if you know what I mean. <laughs>